Okay, tin foil mono print. Now we are gonna be using um, a piece of tin foil, which I mean, I just have regular Publix tin foil. I have ripped off a sheet. I also have some um, random tools. Um, these are basting brushes actually, but I use them for art. This is a scraper of some sort, the Dollar General or Dollar Tree, um, and then just a tinier foam brush. So I may not use all of them, but these are options to move the paint around and give it a different texture on the tin foil. So when you press your paper down, it will give a different look. So we'll try and see what they create. I'm not quite sure. Um, Paint. You will need some kind of scoreable paint because you're actually going to squirt it onto the tin foil, not onto a plate. Um, and it really depends on the age of your child. You may want to um, help them with squirting or put it on a paper plate and let them use one of the paint brushes to put it on the tin foil. Now, be careful. You don't want a huge piece. You want to make sure that your paper, um, you know, is the same size or just a tad bit bigger, just so I can see where the tin foil is of your paper. So we are making something, we're, we're putting the paint on this and then we're gonna lay our paper down, gently rub, and then we're gonna pull our paper up to see the print of what it's created. So you're just gonna figure out what color combinations of paint, um, and I've just grabbed some old paints of mine. So you can make wiggly lines or Dots. You don't need too much. I'm going to try the scraper, so I'm going to put So now I'm going to take my little scraper and just I may not work with this paint. It's a little thin. try let's take my little basting brush that makes a little bit of a different texture okay or this little paintbrush you can just use it to move the paint around okay so once you have added your colors, and here's a tip, just so you don't turn your colors into a mud, you wanna stick with warm or cool. You don't wanna mix the warm and the cool because that's how you get a gray or a not so vibrant color. Your warm colors, this is your red, your yellow, your pinks, and your oranges. Those are all warm colors. So um, I did mix a little pink in there, but Hopefully it will stay over on this side. I won't mix too much. Um, your cool colors are more of your greens, your blues, and your purples. So those are the colors that you want to stick together or you want to stick your warm colors. That's a good tip for any um, painting project with kids. So I've got a little paint on my hands. So i got to be careful. I'm going to take my blank piece of paper. I'm going to lay it over the paint. Now this is where it's your decision. If you don't want the paint to move a lot, then just gently push down for the paint to be soaked into the paper. If you want it to move, then you can rub and maybe it'll mix a little bit. Gently rub. There's no reason to bang or pound it. And I've used a little bit thicker paint. You can still see my paint's a little watery. So this is the best part is peeling it off to see what you have created. Ooh. So. That is a print of what you just created. Now, you um, obviously can't use this paper again. That's gonna go off to the side to dry. You don't have to throw this away. You can do another paper on top to pull off more, or you can always fold the foil in half um, and use like half of the size of what you just did. So I'm gonna grab another piece of paper. do a little drip of pink. So I'm going to add to this just because I didn't um, rub. I'm going to try it again. Now this is a little bit thinner paper so we'll see. Maybe I'm going to turn it. Or 
horizontal. Ooh, see that one soaked up pretty well. So I'm just gonna let it do what it's doing. Maybe just gently push. So you can use the tin foil more than once. Again, you're just gonna be careful because if you start um, rubbing, then the colors are gonna mix. See, now it's a little bit of a muddy color, so I'd probably replace that. So you could get two, and then you could take this, fold it in half, and then just do your print um, on that side. So I did get two out of um, that one piece of tin foil. I mean, I think those would look wonderful framed if they were the same size paper framed next to each other because they have the similar um, color palette. So I hope you enjoy your mono print tin foil. Again, just items, computer paper, tin foil, um, paint. Again, you can try to use some tools from around the house. It doesn't have to be what I've used, but you know, find a way for you to use some kitchen tools and then wash them off. So I wanna see your mono print, so make sure you share me your pictures um, on Dojo, our Hillcrest Art Room Facebook, or our Instagram.